All right, quick pause, Hamda. We've got breaking news upon breaking news upon breaking news this hour. This is the last one coming into us just now. The Israeli military says that Iran has launched a missile from Iran into the territory of the state of Israel. We're now looking at live pictures of what may be, and I'm going to see if I can get confirmation of this in my earpiece, of what may be a missile possibly launched by Iran. We are seeing the live shots over the skies of Tel Aviv right now. So for context, for viewers who are just joining us, it is 1638 GMT. You're watching the skies over Tel Aviv of what may be, but I'm not in a position to confirm this right now, an Iranian missile or multiple Iranian missiles aimed at Tel Aviv. The context around this is that about two hours ago, a U.S. official let it be known that uh, Iran was preparing an imminent ballistic missile attack on Israel. And now this information, the Israeli military is saying that Iran has indeed launched a missile. Now you're seeing several streaks in the sky. I'm unable to tell you what exactly they are. Hamda, okay, ev everybody bear with us as we are watching this live footage and we are unable to tell you right now ex the exact nature of what you're seeing, the streaks and the flares in the sky. These are the skies over Tel Aviv. Now, the much wider context around all of this is that for the past year, there has been a huge question as to how Israel and Iran were going to conduct themselves towards one another. Okay, we're now seeing multiple dots or flares or missiles or rockets in the sky in a downwards trajectory towards Tel Aviv. You're hearing, the, you're hearing the sirens. Okay, and now you're seeing flares in an upward trajectory, which would strongly suggest that is, this is Israel's anti-missile systems that are being activated. Whether it's anti-missile, anti-rocket, we will ask military experts in due time. But you have seen projectiles coming down over Tel Aviv and they still are. Remember what happened in April. Back in April, Iran led its... F All of this coming in live to us at Al Jazeera, the skies over Tel Aviv. So these flashes may well be, but again, we have to exercise extreme caution. These flashes may well be interceptions. Interceptions of these projectiles, one, two, possibly three of them, may or may not have hit their targets, may or may not have hit their targets in Tel Aviv. For an hour now, for, I beg your pardon, for a year now, we have been asking whether or not this could tilt into something even bigger than it has been. In other words, a direct, full-blown war. Oh, that's a direct hit. That is a direct hit on Tel Aviv. The flashes in the sky are likely to be interceptions of Iranian missiles, but we did see one that appeared to land in Tel Aviv. So again, to that question that we've been asking for a year, so many of our analysts and commentators saying the situation between Israel and Gaza and then between Israel and Hezbollah carries with it a very big risk of a major regional confrontation. The major actors of which would be Israel, Iran, and potentially then the United States. And we may be seeing a further salvo in this confrontation.
The latest information we're getting, coming from the Israeli media Yediot Aronaut, is that 102 missiles have been launched from Iran into Israel. All again, all of this is live. We're going to take a moment to take in this footage. It's coming up on 8 p.m. local time in Tel Aviv, and these are the live scenes. If you're just joining us, we cut away to this live shot about three, four minutes ago, and we started seeing flares in the sky, downward trajectory of projectiles that were, some of which at least, have landed on Tel Aviv. Others appear to have been intercepted. And the Israeli military is saying that Iran has launched missiles from Iran into the state of Israel. Now, in the hour or two before we saw what appears to have been an Iranian missile attack on Israel, and you hear the sirens there telling people to go in shelter, telling people to go to their bunkers, um, Many Israelis have either have access to a bunker either directly in their house or some of them will shelter with neighbors is what they typically do when they hear those sirens. There are also bunkers in the street, locations that people know to go to when they hear the sirens, if they happen to be out in the street at that moment. A couple of hours ago, a U.S. official said that they had the information Iran was planning an imminent ballistic missile attack on Israel. Now Israel is saying that it had occurred and there is every likelihood that what you're seeing on your screen is indeed the live shot of that missile attack with the Israeli media, uh, Yediat Aronaut, reporting that 102 missiles were launched. The question that is going to be raised, of course, is we, we have no damage assessment at this hour. How many were intercepted? How many actually hit their targets? What were the targets? Were Israeli civilians killed in Tel Aviv? The answer to those questions is going to be very important in the coming moments, in the coming hours, and could determine the trajectory of this conflict. This continues to be live. We'll continue to watch this. We're joined by Akiva Eldar, political analyst, joining us from Tel Aviv. Akiva, where are you coming to us from? I mean, I know Tel Aviv, but where? It looks I'm, like you're in your house. Yeah, I'm in my house, sitting with my wife in the safe room. Um, we keep hearing the uh, sirens. Um, we live not far from the beach, and we know that uh, there were some missiles that uh, luckily fell into uh, the water, into the sea. Um, we, we know that uh, we have to stay here for some time because the sirens keep coming on. Um, and uh, we uh, get the information from the radio. We don't have uh, TV here. Um, so um, actually, we, we can't watch you and Al Jazeera anyway. Um, well, Akiva, we're, we're, seeing, I... we're seeing what you can't see, and right now it's the latest pictures, but those were long minutes that we just watched live of the skies over Tel Aviv and Iranian missiles um, coming down on Tel Aviv. What we saw, Akiva, were multiple interceptions, those flashes in the sky, but I, I saw at least one, and there may well have been more, at least one of those projectiles uh, land in Tel Aviv, where exactly, obviously, I cannot tell you. Could you describe for our viewers so they understand what people in Tel Aviv are experiencing right now? When you say you're in your safe room, can you describe for our viewers what that is? A safe room is a very small room, uh, which is supposed to offer us uh, full safety. It's uh, blocked. Uh, we have uh, a very heavy uh, window 
uh, with uh, an iron shelter. Uh, the, the room is supposed to give us full protection. We know that uh, when uh, it happened in the south, when people uh, were attacked, uh, that it saved their lives in the road and uh, around Gaza. So it should offer us uh, protection. Uh, we are not far from uh, the, uh, you know, Ministry of Defense and the IDF headquarters. It's about uh, 15 kilometers from there. And, uh, you know, um, we know that uh, the uh, Israeli uh, civilians are part of the Israeli army, and uh, we, we are not really uh, safe uh, as long as uh, the war is still on mm. even if we go to uh, do shopping in Jaffa what happened uh, an hour ago is uh, that uh, two terrorists have uh, attacked people who were uh, waiting for the light train mm. I don't remember anything like this since 91 the Gulf War when uh, we had to uh, stay in shelters at that time I lived in Jerusalem so even Jerusalem was not safe. Are you, what are the instructions for you right now? I mean, the immediate instructions for you. You mentioned the radio earlier. Are you, uh, are you getting anything on the radio? Yeah, we are getting radio. Um, there were, um, since the uh, war started, there were clear instructions uh, to stay near safe rooms or people who have uh, real shelter in their homes and uh, uh, to keep away from crowded uh, areas. Um, I know that we were supposed to have uh, now an event uh, to uh, raise a toast for the new year, which was canceled. Uh, the, the orders are um, to keep away from crowded areas with more than uh, 30 people outside and a few hundred people uh, in, uh, in, a, in a building. Uh, people were doing a lot of shopping, uh, especially with mineral water to keep uh, and uh, with, uh, now you can, maybe you can hear the siren again coming up in uh, the area of Tel Aviv. Um, and uh, people were ready for this, hoping that it will not happen. But, uh, you know, uh, the supermarkets in the last few days were packed with people who, uh, you know, got ready for the holiday, for the new year that will happen uh, the eve of uh, Rosh Hashanah. The Jewish New Year is on Wednesday. So people were shopping uh, for, you know, celebrating the new year, but at the same time to be ready for what's happening right now. Okay, Akiva, can I ask you to stand by, if you don't mind? Can I ask you to do that for us? Stay on the line, and sure. I'm, I'm going to go to Iran. Okay. And I'm going to remind our viewers, I'm sure there are many people who are tuning in right now. They will have got the alerts on their phones that there were Iranian missiles that were launched at Israel. Many people must be tuning in now. It is 1651 GMT. That means it's just up on, coming up on 8 p.m. local time in Tel Aviv, and it's just after 8 p.m. actually in Tehran. And what has happened is the following that uh, Israel says Iran launched missiles at Tel Aviv. We saw them live on Al Jazeera. This was about 10 minutes ago, so this is all happening right now. You're getting the live shots in the center of your screen and you're still seeing flares in the sky. Now, is that an upward or downward trajectory? Those look like they're coming down. So, it, so those flashes, as we were saying earlier, are likely to be interceptions. So you're seeing downward and upward. The reason, and the reason would be that missiles are falling on Tel Aviv right now, live, and the upward flares would be, those are the interceptions, would be Israel's anti-missile um, defensive systems.
So this is the latest information that we have. Nearly 250 missiles were launched into Israel from Iran, according to the Israeli army radio. Let's go to Tawhid Asadi, writer, specialist in Iranian affairs. You're joining us live from Tehran. A couple moments ago when, I, uh, when we talked, you said that the IRGC, the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, were going to make an announcement. Have they spoken? Yes, indeed. This is the latest update uh, from Iran, and we see this statement coming from Iranian IRGC. And I'm quoting that they said that in response to the assassination of Ismail Haniya and Seth Hassan Nasrullah and martyr Neil Furushan, one of the Iranian IRGC's top officials that was assassinated in the recent attacks in Beirut, we attacked the hearts of the occupied lands. And I'm going to tra translate the list. Uh, the statement says that in case the Zionist regime tries to respond to Iranian operation, it will face crushing responses. This is what we have been hearing from IRGC's statement so far. And at the same time, I'm hearing sounds of Allahu Akbar from Tehran's mosques in my background. I'm not sure if, can, if we can hear that. And the Iranian state television said that it was just a first wave of attacks that was conducted act after a long period of waiting, a long period after assassination of Ismail Haniya in Tehran. And it was a long expected retaliatory action that we are seeing tonight from Tehran. They didn't deny the possibility of a second round. This is one important point. Another point was that Iranian state television reported that it's not just Tel Aviv under attack. Other parts of the occupied territories are under attack at the time being. They also said this many parts of uh, occupied territories were under attack. Tens of ballistic missiles, according to the report, have been uh, fired and we are waiting for further details. But it was also reported that the current operation has been conducted under the ratification of Iranian National Security Council, which, from which we had Mr. Ahmadian today that talked about the possibility of retaliation. He said that this is not Red Iran, this is the resistant front and the entire resistant movement that has been engaged into this war. Therefore, okay. we're not waiting for I'm quoting him, single action. With that said, I think we will be waiting for more comprehensive actions from the resistance front in this hours down the road. Okay, Tohid Asadi, uh, thank you very much for all of that that you're bringing us uh, from Iran. So the IRGC, the Iranian Revolutionary Guards Corps, said just moments ago, confirming they launched at least 250 missiles towards Israel. They warned that if Israel retaliated to that attack, then Tehran's response would be, quote, more crushing and ruinous. They also said that this was the response to Israel's assassination of Ismail Haniyeh, the then leader of Hamas in Tehran, uh, that was late July, and the response to, the, to Israel's assassination of Hezbollah chief Hassan Nasrallah, that was just on Friday. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.